We're about less than a minute away from totality. That's going to be occurring here in just a short time. I do think the clouds are going to stay away and we'll notice, we'll notice the darkness. Pupils have been adjusting just a bit. Temperatures maybe dropping a little, holding steady. Certainly not what you would expect in the, uh, in the middle of the afternoon in Dallas where we have a chance of severe weather. But we've got those clouds getting so close. There's a cloud that's just near and we are less than a minute away from totality. It is just the sliver of the sun's surface that we're seeing, the moon about to totally eclipse the sun. Take in the sounds. Listen to the cheers here as we are about to enter totality here in Dallas, Texas, just in time with a little bit of a cloud that we that we have that's just moved over. Those winds out of the south easing just a little bit, but we're seeing just a sliver of the sun. The moon's about to totally eclipse it. <laughs> you can kind of see it, but you guys would not believe this. There is a cloud that's moving through from the surface, but you can just see the, the edge of it. This is so amazing. Oh my gosh, it's dark. It is dark here in Dallas. We've got totality. And we have a little cloud, but that's okay. Totality, darkness over Dallas. The lights are out at the Cotton Bowl. And this is what we have. I've got Kerry Black asking for the sun to move away, the cloud to move out of the sky. Look at the planet. I can't believe the planet's it. emerged. I think that that's Venus. Oh my gosh, there it is. Kerry. Oh my God. The sun. Look at that. Here we are. Oh my gosh, I don't even know you, but this is an amazing experience. Kerry. What's going through your oh, mind? Can't. You've got to. I can't. I can't. I just can't even. Watch just it. Look at that. Take it in. Look at that. You see the corona? You can see the corona. You can see streamers. You see the little. Streamers. You see how the streamers yes. are these like long, bright features. <laughs> this is amazing. We have totality. We have clear oh skies. God. Oh my God. Just one little cloud. Had to be dramatic. Oh, yeah, it did. That's right. That's the right. The clouds have cleared. I, oh, wow. We're in Just, this. Wow. For the next few minutes. I can see the Tell little sparkly bit. Yes, hey, see, everything. there's a little tiny little sparkly bit down at the bottom. Yes. Right? See the features. There's some from activity the on the surface. There is. It's, it's very active as we speak. It's amazing. Like we're heading toward a solar maximum. We are. This yeah. is way more active than 2017, from oh. what I remember. Oh. It's amazing. Can you see uh -oh. it with your? I can't see it with my solar glasses anymore. No, no, it's no. It's covered up. It's completely covered. You can just see totality. the bright ring. Oh my goodness! This is unbelievable. On the this southern edge of it too. Yes. Just those shoots of light. Yes. Isn't that incredible? This is all following magnetic field. This is all of those features that you can see are following magnetic field. The magnetic field. Yes, of the sun. Yep, yep. Wrapping around it, following it. It's a, that's, the sun's magnetic field is, um, it's sort of like a big giant bar magnet, but it has all of these complex features that like shoot stuff off in different directions. Wow. And that's what creates these streamers. There's Venus. Yep. Other Ju planets. Jupiter is supposed to be up here. Dallas, a big hub right. for a lot of airlines. We got a couple of planes flying overhead. They're getting oh, that view goodness. right now. They are in the shadow of the moon in the middle of the afternoon. It's wild. It's wild how dark and cold it is right now. I can't believe it. Yeah. Because yeah. we were talking about humidity. That south wind today bringing in the moisture doesn't matter. No. Nope. No. Nope. Uh, people are going crazy behind you hear, us. You hear okay. the sights? I'm taking it all in. This is what we were hoping would happen in Dallas. And those clouds have parted, and we are getting in on totality. Oh, man. 
Oh, man. I can't imagine. I can't believe yeah. it. Yeah, it's just incredible. It's just it's an, incredible. It's a new moon. Yeah. It only happens. <laughs> it only and the happens last solar eclipse moon. also moved through the US. We had, it wasn't a total one, it was the ring of fire, but these back to back solar eclipses. It's incredible, right? How it's lucky. allowed so many people to like get energized, excited about it, come out and see the natural world. It's just amazing. I, I, am, I am just amazed. And it's still happening. Yeah. <laughs> we are still dealing. We're still seeing four minutes is a long time. It's a long time, <laughs> and I'm here for it. Cool off these temperatures. Oh, feels good. Let's mitigate that severe weather risk today, right? right? The cooler, right. The, the, cooler right. the temperatures, the less. We know that that total path is about 100 miles. That's going to do very little to affect storms, but I can't believe what we have going on oh, here in North man. Texas. There's a diamond ring. Oh, there it is. There's there the there diamond is. ring. Ah! It has emerged. Oh, my God. Ah! The diamond ring over ah! Dallas. Woo! Oh, my God. And the oh, returning God. sun. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, man. Oh, man. And there it comes. It's there happened. It comes. Carrie, I'm so grateful that you were here for Thank this you. moment. Thank you. Thank you for having what, me here. Was this your first solar this eclipse? This is the first time I've seen the corona with my bare eyes. It is amazing. What did you think? It of is it? amazing. I have studied the sun for 15 years. This is unbelievable. And I'm just overwhelmed. <sighs> yeah, very overwhelmed. Very overwhelmed. It's just a full. It's a full body. You feel it everywhere. You see it here, just feel it everywhere. What sparked your interest in, 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 the, in the sun? sun? Looking at you the pictures You work at the Astronomical Division of I the do. National Science Foundation. I do, I do. But I was in grad school and was in a group that did space science and started looking at pictures from ground-based telescopes of the sun and had no idea that there were so many features, that it was so complex and so dynamic. And I, seriously, I, I looked at that and was like, this is what I have to do with my life. My word. Yeah. And now an opportunity. You took a risk being in Dallas I, with yeah, those clouds. Yeah, were you stressing about good. it a little bit? I was, but you know, I said, it doesn't matter because we're all going to be together. We're going to have an experience whether we can see the corona or not. And then we got so We got lucky. it and we experienced it together. Yeah, I, yeah. I was overwhelmed by the winds. I, I don't... So I am still gonna, because the weather and space weather are vastly different. Yes. And I, I think that there's just a natural interest that I have in space weather, but knowing that that south wind, it's something in Houston when I worked down at the, uh, one of the local affiliates there, we watched it. And that south wind was such a detriment to uh, sunny skies. And I, I wasn't sure how, how Dallas would fare. I know that North Texas was, was favorable, yeah. but, but to have this opportunity, and look at it, we've got another cloud. There's a cloud that's, that's beginning to, to move over it. the sun. We don't want to look directly at the sun nope. anymore. But that total solar eclipse, what a sight to behold. Oh, my goodness. Oh 2044 my wins the next time. I mean, if you have the opportunity, you can travel elsewhere. You but can. In 2026, there will be one in Spain, but 2044 here. In yep. the United States. Yeah. Karen Black, thank you so oh, much. Thank, thank you, you for sharing. I'll give you a hug. Share, share this with you. Thank I'm, you. I'm, I'm thank telling you, you what, so it was much. an experience I didn't yes. expect getting choked yes. up. I mean, you deserve it. You've dedicated your <laughs> life's work to it. Uh, but you. Carrie Black with the National Science Foundation joining